Hey guys, Blamager here, and we are back with another episode of Let's Play Tales of Knuckles. In this episode, we are going through the final Sonic 3 stage, a launch base zone. There's a lot of enemies to be worried about. The ones I hate the most are those freaking frogs. Um, let's see, there's several uh, little light warning siren things. If you walk through them, they can endlessly summon birds, and that's actually like a one-up glitch. You can just there. Here's an example of one. They'll summon one of those bird bots. There's an endless glitch where you can just get as many extra lives as you want by spin dashing there. But this game is so easy, we don't need to do that. Hooray for flight! I just hope I don't fly into a. Uh, now these Orbanauts are different from the rest. They will always go towards you, but they will only move when you move. And they will never lose their spikes. So the only way to actually hit them is either getting incredibly lucky and like somehow hitting them with your tails. Or if you're Sonic, you can use your instant shield to kill them pretty easily. Instant shield is so useful in this game as Sonic. Or you can let yourself get hit and while you have invincibility frames, attack him. Or you can be, you know, invincible. Either by super mode or with, uh, you know, an actual invincibility power up. Now, the biggest killer to your speed are those jerks. I hate those guys. Those little lasers. Almost got hit by one. I think I just went into the casino stage again, which I didn't even want to be in it. Alright, here we go. Back on track. There's lots of those little uh, things there. I don't know why I ran straight into those spikes. That was like, fail. Anyways, there's lots of those little things that you can jump in and ride them around. Um, you gotta worry about these spikes. They can instantly kill you if they fall on you. There's really only one that's really short that you gotta go over. The rest of them you can pretty safely go through if you just wait. Arg! I hate these frogs! I haven't actually gone this way before, so this is kind of new for me. But, I'm sure it'll... Oh, that was kind of pointless. Walk back and forth, let that guy get stuck in the wall. Yeah, I think it... Ooh, this is the one that you gotta jump over. If you're unlucky, you could just be like, zooming past and that thing will land on you. Sucks. There's lots of these little capsules that kind of remind me of the Jetsons. Golly, it seems like that show just kind of dates me now. Like, that was an old show when I watched it, and now it's like really old. Snail things, you gotta wait for them to open up to attack. Oh, I bet that would have been the other uh, bonus stage there. Oh well. There will be more chances. There's Eggman. Uh, you can't actually attack him enough to kill him. Although, I think you could as uh, after you beat the game, I think you can uh, go into the level select, come here and be Supersonic Tails, or whatever Super Tails and just uh, stand there and your little birdies will attack him. I think if you kill him though, it glitches out the game. Anyways, Knuckles is going to throw a bomb at you. He's thinking he's all sly and everything. Here we go. Bonus stage. Alright, this is the other one. Now, you want to uh, 
I think the trick here is that you want to um, actually try to jump out when you're about halfway through in the direction you want to go. And that will maximize your height. Now there's plenty of rings and you're racing this little beam at the bottom that will exit you from the stage. Those little balls turn into shields, rings, one-ups, whatever. However, the stage does not just go on forever. Eventually, you can go through the top, which will exit the stage. Anyway, now that I've shown that off, I don't have to worry about that again. And there you have it. That's all the bonus stages. Now, the only one that was in Sonic 3 was the gumball machine, and the rest were added with Sonic and Knuckles. This boss is really easy, and if you're playing as Knuckles, there's just, like, an additional one. And these bosses actually get easier as you hit them, since they lose one of their arms. But yeah, Act 1 is done. Pretty soon I'm going to have to go for more Chaos Emeralds. Oh, excuse me, Super Emeralds. Which I'm probably going to have to look up a map because I can't ever remember exactly where all the big rings are in Mushroom Hill Zone. I know that as Tails I can get six of them, which is all but one that only Knuckles can get, but Knuckles can't get the rest of them. I mean, there's some that Knuckles can get, but there's one that only Knuckles can get, and the rest of them Sonic and Tails can get. But there's some that Sonic and Tails can get that Knuckles can't get, if that makes any sense. There's actually supposed to be two that only Knuckles can get, but if you backtrack a little as Sonic and Tails, you can actually get to the one that only Knuckles is supposed to be able to get. And that's something that I do. I mean, you, you have to know it's there, because the only way that you would ever get into the area that it's at is if you are Knuckles. Alright, this stage does add some underwater exploration. But, I have a water shield. Ah, bet you thought I was going to run into those spikes there. Psych! This stage can actually get pretty fast, which is kind of cool, because you wouldn't expect it after the kind of slowness that was Act 1. One thing to note is that that invincibility in Sonic 3 is actually an Eggman box. I don't know why they replaced something that would hurt you with something that makes you invincible, but whatever. I don't really see much of the point in a lot of the small changes that they make. But I noticed them, so I'm pointing them out. Yikes. Fire. Fire bad! I think there was a big ring over there that I missed. Oh well, no biggie. I've already got all the Chaos Emeralds, so I didn't really need it. Yikes! Darn you, Orbanaut. Alright, I'm not gonna hit that again. I think I'm actually closing in on the end of this stage. Oh no, what's going on? That was actually kind of pointless. Hey, another shield. I really hate those frogs. Like, a lot. I think this is the end of the stage. Yep. Uh, I think they fixed it in, uh... Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but in Sonic 3 by itself, you could actually jump over that area and safely hit him as much as you want. Anyways, he's gonna sit up there and he's gonna shoot these balls at you. And he's gonna alternate from top and bottom. And he's really easy, even though I lost my shield there. 
eight hits defeats him, and then you jump into his uh, Egg Mobile. Or Egg Mobile, however it's pronounced. I call it Egg Mobile. Knuckles is coming back. Gonna try to be a douche again. Apparently, he doesn't realize that Eggman is, like, gonna steal the Master Emerald from him. Spoilers! You know, get a laugh at Knuckles as he, you know, gets knocked off when the Death Egg takes off. I'm just gonna cruise along. And our pet mobile, I mean, Eggmobile. Now, one thing to note is that this boss was changed when you locked on Sonic and Knuckles. Originally there was a second stage which I'm probably going to take a break to show off. Oh wow, I wasn't ready for it. Anyways, this is the first stage where he's just gonna fly up and down across the stages. He's got two lasers and he's got that little spike ball floating around him. And you can like take away almost everything he's got with just one bounce. And once you hit him, he'll start trying to fly up really fast. But yeah, he dies really fast. And that is it if you have Sonic and Knuckles locked on. However, I am going to take a break after showing you guys the real deal. So this is what happens in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You know, your, your stage that you're standing on will detach from the Death Egg. Tails glitches out and his tails are still moving. You'll see the Death Egg in the background. So that obviously tells you that your journey is not over. That's the end of the act. And as promised, here we are with the alternate form of the boss. Now, if you're just playing in Sonic 3, this is what it's like. It starts out the same, except uh, the, first notice, uh, the first difference you'll notice right off the bat is if you're playing in Sonic and Tails, Tails cannot join you. Which I suppose makes it a little bit harder because you can't just be like, Alright Tails, go invent a killing. Like you can with every other boss in the game. It starts out the same. After you kill this first form, instead of day being saved, you get Knuckles boss from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Which is actually a lot harder. It's him and his egg mobile with spikes on the top and hands, as you just saw. And you basically just gotta jump right. You gotta jump high enough to not get caught in his hands, and low enough to not hit the spikes on his head. After he makes two passes, he'll Go back and forth at the top, stop, drop down, and do the same at the bottom. And then when he gets tired of that, he'll fly off and make two more passes. Now, if he catches you in his hands, he will grab you and slam you into the stage. And then he will instantly go back to flying across the top, whether that was his first or second pass. Oh well. This boss is actually pretty tough, because if you're not real comfortable with the jumping physics of the game, you'll find it really hard to jump just right. I mean, as you saw a little while ago, even I still mess it up sometimes. And his height isn't always the same, which makes it even harder. It's fairly easy for Knuckles to fight this boss, since you can pretty easily control your jump height with Glide. simple pattern with a hard to hit hitbox. Well, it goes down to like, I think, eight hits like most Eggman bosses. And then you get basically the same ending. Basically. It's a little different, so we'll watch. You notice the sky's all dark here. It's just something that wasn't like in the other one. There's a dead egg falling down. My journey's not over, is it? 
is it? Boom! I guess it is over. Death Egg's gone. So obviously this ending is not canon since the game continues into Sonic and Knuckles. But yeah, that's the uh, extra boss. I'm not really going to show the uh, Sonic 3 ending because it's just text and kind of boring. So I guess I will see you guys in the next episode when we start Mushroom Hill Zone and start going after the uh, Super Emeralds. So if you like my video, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell your friends about it, and I will see you guys later.